all, this is Daisy. I just wanted um, so y'all could see that she's got, you know, her eye here and she is missing an eye on the other side. Okay, I just did that, that little clip in the beginning just so y'all could see that she has one eye. Um, so I felt, well, not felt, God was talking to me and um, about having one eye. <laughs> so anyways, um, well, I guess I should back up a little bit. Working with her, working with a horse that's got one eye, um, some of the... I guess difficulty that I've run into is for instance um, when I ride her and I pull her onto that that um, blind side sometimes she and she's getting better now she's not she's being really soft now but she would fight just a little bit because she would have she'd be like oh man I'm not so sure about that which I can totally understand she can't see over there and as far as she knows I could be pulling her into a fence or a pole or another horse or she doesn't know I know they have, uh, you know, they can sense and they kind of, and they'll figure out what's around them. But as far as she knows, she has no clue what I'm doing, you know, when it comes to that. Another thing, um, flex, or not flex, yeah, flexing to, let's see, it's, her blind side is on her right. So flexing to the left um, was a bit of a challenge because when you pull her around, see, she's got this eye, it brings it around. Her blind eye is on the outside and so she can't see really because it, that that uh, left eye is on the inside so it's facing you know toward the saddle and she for all practical purposes it kind of really just completely absolutely blinds her so she can't see a thing basically other than the side of the saddle and herself <laughs> so anyways um so what she's been having to learn is blind faith blind faith is as in you know, is that because she is, you know, blind on that side, doesn't have an eye, she can't see what's going on. So she has to have faith in me that I'm guiding her in, the, in a correct direction, that I'm not just going to slam her into something, run her into something, have her walk off into something that she shouldn't be in. And then, of course, on this side, she has her eye. So, actually, riding her kind of in the beginning, a big thing she wanted to do is kind of go to the left. Kind of make a left circle, per se. And so, I had to... What I would do is I'd walk her forward and turn her to the right, which is her blind side. Walk her forward, turn her to the right. And so, she's getting the idea that I'm not going to run her into anything. So she's beginning to have faith in me, but she's also beginning to be able to see on that side. And what, what I mean by be able to see on that side is she's because she's following my lead, she knows that she's not going to run into something. So I'm becoming her eye on the other side. So she's got blind faith that I have that I'm her eyes. So therefore it's just about like she has an eye on that side. So she's not going off of of her her side of her brain that can see and I know what's going on so therefore I'm going to do not really do what I want to do but do what I can see and of course she can hear but what she can see and go on from there instead of you know going the other way and she can't see but as time goes on and she has more and more faith in what I'm doing it becomes because of, like I said it become her other eye she sees that I have an agenda and I want to go a certain direction so in that case I become her eye on that side and so her faith grows that what I'm even if I'm doing doesn't quite make sense it's like okay we can do this because I know I'm not gonna run into something so blind faith our blind faith in Christ we have our spirit I mean our physical seeing and what makes sense to us which is our eye like hers that she can see out of but we tend to go in circles because we can see and we understand 
physically one way so we go ahead and go in a circle and stay inside of our circle because we can't see to the outside so when Christ comes into it what he does is even well sometimes in the beginning it may be hard and even if you've been in it for a while if you're somebody that's following Christ and, and you're doing stuff and you're you know Christ is Jesus has told you or God has told you to do this or that or the other and, you, and you're in it but there's sometimes there's something that's he tells you to do that's hard or maybe you're first getting you're you're just uh, you're new in Christ and they're asking he's asking you stuff and you don't understand and it's hard so you want to go ahead and go where Christ is pointing you because it'll get easier and he'll become your eye on the blind side. So your faith will grow and you'll actually be able to see on that blind side because Christ will be guiding you on that side. He'll become your eye on the other side. And so you'll be able to actually see stuff that you haven't been able to see haven't been able to see before because he has become your eye Hold on. Good. he has be, he has become your eye on the blind side of you so i hope this was um helpful to y'all and i kind of feel like it's a word for somebody out there and god bless hope y'all have a great day